channels like this are killing it on YouTube. You must have seen videos like these in the past few days, since this is really going viral right now. Check this one out. With just two videos has managed to monetize his channel and actually make money from it because this channel has made almost 1 million views on just two uploads. Then we have this other one in the same niche, also new, and has posted only four videos, which almost all of them, beside the first one, got more than 2 million views. That is crazy. This channel has managed to bring in 125,000 subscribers. The best part? These channels are making thousands of dollars each month. The tool that I'm using for these analytics, it's called NextLev, and you can get access by entering the link on the description and use the code BIGSTEPS for 20% discount. Then there are other competitors like this one, with only 28 videos, and is making a ton of money out of this channel, since almost each video brings thousands of views. Now. I have attached all these competitor channels on the document that I have prepared for you with all the info that you are going to need. You can check these channels yourself and see what is working, but what I have noticed is that they are combining 3D animations with real, actual footage of the stories they are talking about. The question is, how do we make videos like this? Now I'm going to share step by step how to achieve similar results by creating a video like this. In a dimly lit bedroom in the suburbs of London, beneath a poster of Star Wars and beside a stack of old PlayStation games, a 36-year-old man sat hunched over a second-hand laptop. His fingers moved with quiet precision, eyes scanning lines of code on a cracked screen. The only light came from the glow of three monitors one of them displaying a blinking cursor on a secure NASA terminal. It was 2.36 a.m. Gary McKinnon wasn't a spy, a soldier, or a trained hacker. He was unemployed, autistic, and living with his mother. Diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, he found solace in technology, searching for patterns in chaos, order in code. But he wasn't looking for money, or fame, or destruction. He believed the U.S. government was hiding the biggest secret in human history, proof of extraterrestrial life, and he was going to find it. Using a 56K dial-up modem and software cobbled together from hacking forums, Gary slipped into the U.S. military's most secure systems. You like that? Well, the 3D animations, the paper animation, is all made by AI, which is crazy how good this is getting day by day. You can make a lot with this, and that's what I will share with you in this video. So make sure you watch the whole thing so you don't miss any important steps. If you are all ready, hit that like and subscribe button and comment the word ready down below. We are going to separate this in six simple steps, which will cover how to generate viral ideas, create scripts that are in the same level as all these viral videos, how to generate 3D animations, and also how to put everything together. First and most important part is to have a great story. Now that we have found our competitors and know what is working, we can use these videos to get inspiration from. What I will do is screenshot these videos on all these channels and then add the images to ChatGPT and ask this. Now, the prompts are taken care of because I have analyzed and prepared the most effective prompts that we can use to create these type of topics. Now press enter and ChatGPT will come up with the best topic ideas inspired by all these viral videos that I have fed into ChatGPT. Now we can create the perfect script for any of these ideas by going back to the document and use the master prompt to generate viral documentary style scripts. I have carefully created this prompt so we can get the best script possible to match the level of these competitors that are making thousands of dollars a month. Copy the prompt on the document and paste it on the chat GPT, and then here insert your idea for which topic you want the script to be about. Once you have added the topic, press enter and ChatGPT will perfectly write a whole script that is ready for narration, which will bring us to the second step, which is voice generation. For this, we are going to use a tool called Eleven Labs. The link is on the description. Let's go to Eleven Labs. Choose the section for narration here. Let's filter by category, gender, age here, and then choose the language and accent to be American. Now check for the best voice that you think fits best with the idea you are creating. For me, I think this one sounds good, so I'm going to add this one to my list of voices and use it. Then, let's copy the script from ChatGPT and paste it on 11 labs. Notice that the maximum characters we can do at once is 5,000, so make sure you are aware of that. 
For the sake of time, I'll make a shorter one so I don't take too much of your time explaining the whole process. Press generate and boom, here's a little bit of what we got. In a dimly lit bedroom in the suburbs of London, beneath a poster of Star Wars and beside a stack of old PlayStation games. Amazing. Now we need to go to the next step, which is generating the images. I have taken care of this too, since I have prepared the prompt you can reuse every time you need to make a new video. Just copy the prompt and let's go to ChatGPT again and paste it here. Now here where you can see an X, you need to replace it with the number of prompts you want to generate. And then here where you can see the place for the script, copy the script and paste it in there so ChatGPT know what to create prompts about. In the end of the prompt, again, change the X for the number of prompts. Hit enter and boom, here we have all the prompts we have requested, fast and very accurate. Now let's press this icon here for tools and select create an image, copy the first prompt and paste it in here and boom, perfect. We got our first image, which looks exactly what I wanted, but I forgot to add the 16 to 9 ratio so I'm going to redo this and add the 16 to 9 ratio. Amazing. Now let's do another one, add 16 to 9 ratio and boom. Simple and perfect. Let's do the same for all the prompts. And you can also add new prompts, like for example, I want to add some parts like this one for the PlayStation stack of CDs. I'll just write, let's create some prompts for important parts like stack of old PlayStation games. Or living with his mother, showing a female orange humanoid, etc. And ChatGPT will understand what I'm looking for. Let's try the first prompt and boom, hear what we got. It's that simple. Now, once we have all the images ready, we need to download all of them and move to the next step which is animating these images. For that, I'm going to use a tool called Luma Labs from Dream Machine. I have tried this on all other tools, but for this kind of content, I have found this tool to be most effective. You have the link on the description for this one too. Now let's go to Luma Labs and upload our first image. Here to the camera icon, we have a ton of options we can choose for how we want the camera to move. Let's choose this one for this image and see the results. This is our first results. It looks amazing. Now, again, I did the wrong format one, but I'm gonna do the right one too. And boom, same result. Looking very smooth, exactly what we need. Let's do another one using a zoom in option for the camera and let's check the results. Amazing. Now let's continue and do this for all the images that we have created. But don't forget that we also need to combine real footage of this story. How you can do that is by searching the real name on Google and get, for example, images of the person we are talking about. We can also go to YouTube and find content ideas that we can use. On the community that I'm gonna reopen soon for new people, I explain exactly how to rightfully use content like this. So make sure you join the waitlist for when I reopen for new users so you can get step-by-step -step blueprint of how to succeed on YouTube automations. Click the first link in the description. Anyway, once you have done some research and have gathered all the information you need, it's time to go to the next and final step, but make sure to stay till the end because I'm also gonna show you how to make viral thumbnails. All right, this step is where we put everything together on an editor. And for this, we are going to use CapCut. Let's open CapCut and create a new project. Then let's import all the footage and voiceover that we have into CapCut. Drag and drop the voiceover over into the timeline. Now, even though AI most of the time gets the perfect results, we still need to make some changes. For example, cutting some of these spaces in narration here. Once you do that, it's time to fit the footage with the voiceover. Let's drag our first image and change the ratio to be 16 to 9 for YouTube long format, and then let's scale the image to fit the whole frame. Now let's add stock footage too. I use this tool called Pixabay for stock footage like this, where I just searched by London suburbs, and it got me some useful footage. Let's add everything we created and found on the internet to the timeline here. Scale and fit everything in the frame, and now let's add some sound effects, like keyboard typing or city noise, just stuff that fits best with what you are creating. Then let's go again to Pixabay to find some music. Search for documentary and you can find a lot of free music to use here. Import it on CapCut 2 and add it on Timeline. Match it with the length of the video and lower the volume. Perfect. Now let's add some text where is needed. For example, the name of the guy here. Go to text, default text, and drag and drop it on the timeline. Add the name here, and we can change the font. Add background color, and also change the animation of the text. Looking great. Now fix everything else you want to by adding any zoom ins or zoom outs. And once everything is set, click export and export it to 1080p. And there you go. You have your first video ready to go viral. If you are going to try this, then just write down in the comments 
comments, I am, so I know you have to watch this and are really the 1% of people ready to start this. Now, let me tell you real quick how to create a thumbnail. Copy the prompt on the document too, and then paste it on ChatGPT. Copy the script and paste it to here where it's requested. Also, you can add some thumbnails for inspiration so you can get better results. Then press enter and boom, this is not bad. With a little bit of tweaks, we can make this work. This is all I got about technical work. Now you need to be disciplined to do this and always be on the lookout for what is working and what's not. You need to be consistent and create at least one video per week in the beginning and after you monetize, you should go up to two videos per week. If this didn't get you to start YouTube automation, then you need to check this other video where I share a secret tool to make viral videos. See you on the next video.